The Austin Motor Factory at Birmingham, already reaching new production levels. The car industry sealed Birmingham's reputation as the workshop of the world. At Tisley, where the famous engines are made. During the 20th century, cars dominated the city's economy and then its landscape. Today, it's a city built with the motor car in mind. The famous Spaghetti Junction, a symbol of how many people's lives revolve around their cars. Pedestrians became a secondary concern in the city centre, relegated to underpasses beneath increasingly congested roads. But change is coming with plans for a city where the car is no longer king. It'll be redesigned, less of this and more of this. There'll be clean air charges and most controversially a ban on driving through the city centre. There'll be restrictions near schools too. It sounds drastic, but is welcomed by people who are already trying to do their bit. Children are dying from having asthma attacks. Um, elderly and frail people who already have health conditions, air pollution is then contributing to untimely deaths. It's not something that any of us can be complacent about or um, just ignore. But the Transport Secretary has warned the plans are extreme and could kill the city centre if people stop travelling in. Taxi drivers share those fears. And that's going to have a lot of effect on our business and Joe Public as well and the shops in the city centre who, um, who thrive on people coming into the city centre um, and that's how their day to day business runs. And if that's going to stop, the shop's not going to make money and obviously the taxi trade is going to suffer as well. This machine measures air pollution levels. You can see that becomes 15,000 because the car particularly diesel cars. In the future, this A road could be rerouted away from the city centre. You cut the A38, then the cars have to go around, potentially travel for longer, having more pollution. And that, you know, although you would improve the air quality in the city centre, that has a potential of deteriorate air quality in other places. Birmingham isn't the only city making changes. The government is working with 60 other councils too. But cars are such a big part of this city's past and present. The future here will be very different. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Birmingham.